Welcome to the Lockheed Martin Pilot Web. Lockheed Martin Flight Service has heard the request from many airspace users for increased information to be released with guidance on ICAO flight plan filing. This video is meant to serve as an informational and detail-oriented overview of the ICAO flight plan form and its requirements for successful ICAO flight plan filing. The FAA prefers, but not requires, users to file ICAO formatted flight plans for all flights. However, currently ICAO flight plans are required for flights that will enter international airspace, including oceanic airspace, controlled by FAA facilities, flights that will be expecting routing or separation based on performance-based navigation, or PBN, for example, RNAV-1, flights that enter RVSM airspace between flight level 290 and flight level 410, and flights that expect services based on ADSB. The FAA does provide guidance on a KO flight plan filing in the Airman's Information Manual, or AIM, under Section 1, Paragraph 519. This video contains a table of contents located in the window to the left of the screen. To view a specific portion of the video, simply click on the title you wish to view. The Lockheed Martin Pilot Web ICAO flight planning form is fully FAA and ICAO compliant. This combined with help dialogues, aircraft and airport identifier search windows, make the Pilot Web ICAO flight plan form a quick, easy, and effective way to file and familiarize with ICAO flight plan filing. To file ICAO flight plans utilizing the Lockheed Martin Pilot Web, first sign in with your login information. Once logged in, from the main page, on the top menu bar select Flight Planning and Briefing. This will open the flight planning page for domestic and ICAO flight planning. For the purposes of this video, select ICAO from the top right and load the ICAO flight plan form. The ICAO flight plan form consists of three areas. The top of the flight plan form contains past and favorite stored flight plan data. This stored flight plan data can be very useful in future flight plan filing. When an ICAO flight plan form has been completely filled out, the flight plan and all of its information may be saved as a favorite flight plan. To save any flight plan as a favorite, simply click on the Save as Favorite button above the flight plan form. The middle of the form is where the actual ICAO flight plan data is entered, and advanced services may be established if not already done. The bottom of the form contains all action and pre-flight briefing buttons. Note, if a flight plan is entered as domestic and then converted to ICAO, fields that are shared will be copied over and any field that cannot be converted from NAS to ICAO format will be left blank. For convenience, you may store your ICAO aircraft and equipment information in your user profile. To do this, from the top menu bar, select Account, then Aircraft. This will then open the Aircraft tab of your user settings. From here, select the Aircraft of Interest, then within Aircraft Information, you may store the specific ICAO equipment and surveillance equipment designators for that aircraft as well as ICAO formatted speed entries. Once these entries are saved, this information will auto-populate into the required flight plan fields in the future. The ICAO flight planning form and the domestic flight planning form are different. However, they do contain many of the same fields. The ICAO flight planning form is a more detailed flight plan than that of the domestic flight plan. Let's now go through each field of the ICAO flight plan to better understand what is required. Aircraft ID. Aircraft ID must always be formatted as one letter followed by one to six alphanumeric characters. Approved call sign and flight identifiers may be entered here, such as American Airlines 543, entered as Alpha Alpha Lima 543. Flight Rules Flight rules categorize the type of flight plan and are summarized in the help dialog shown here. For both YFR and ZFR, the point where the flight rules change must be noted in the route of flight. Flight Type This field is optional but recommended for proper handling. Select the appropriate description of your flight type. Number of aircraft Number of aircraft will always default to 1, however, may be changed if required. Aircraft type. Aircraft type should be formatted as one letter followed by 1 to 3 alphanumeric characters. To simplify and ensure your aircraft type is entered correctly, select the search dialog to the right of the field, and a window will open to perform an aircraft type search. Aircraft may be searched by their manufacturer, model, or aircraft type designator. Should your aircraft type not be found or you are unsure of what to enter, Place ZZZZ into the field and explain further in the Other Information field. When ZZZZ is placed in any allowable field, its required element prefix is added to the Other Information field. In this case, TYP slant. Wake Turbulence Wake Turbulence is designed to auto-populate with the correct wake turbulence category for your aircraft. However, should you need to enter it manually, see the Help dialog shown here. Aircraft Equipment Aircraft equipment is one of the more detailed and error-prone fields on the ICAO flight plan form. This field requires accurate logging of all radio, 
navigation, and data equipment aboard the aircraft. Unlike the domestic flight plan form, ICAO equipment is listed individually and is not uncommon to have four to five or more entries. Much of this information will be supplied by your equipment's manufacturer. An inaccurate entry in this field can trigger errors in the flight plan or unexpected routing changes for your flight. On screen is the aircraft equipment helper dialog that can be found by selecting the search dialog box to the right of the field. Following are some general guidelines to consider when filing. An aircraft equipment entry of N essentially establishes what X would do for a domestic. It tells ATC that your aircraft is equipped with no radios or nav equipment. An equipment entry of S establishes the standard set of equipment of VOR receiver, VHF radio telephone, and an ILS receiver. When selecting S, the entries for VHF radio telephone or Victor, ILS or Lima, and VOR or OSCAR will be deactivated. If equipped with a DME, this must be entered as D. This is not encompassed by other equipment entries. Like DME, GPS, or GNSS must also be entered individually, if equipped, with a Golf. Note ILS is an entry of Lima, where the entry of India is for inertial navigation systems. Similarly, VOR requires an entry of OSCAR. Equipment Romeo is required for RNAV performance-based navigation. An entry of Romeo in the equipment field will require further data entry into the other information field to explain PBN values. An entry of Z for other will also require further data entry into the other information field, generally prefixed by NAV, COM, or DAT. Surveillance equipment, like the aircraft equipment, differs from the domestic flight plan form. This field is only for transponder or ADS equipment entries. A search dialog box is also located to the right of this field to explain further. Much of this information will also be supplied by your equipment's manufacturer. Departure, destination, and alternates. These entries may be entered into their respective fields, and they all contain the same requirements. Unlike the domestic flight plan form, the departure, destination, and alternate fields in the ICAO flight plan form may only contain four-letter ICAO codes for the location, such as KLAX, KJFK, or KORD. Should the location be alphanumeric, such as PAPA 52 or 8 Whiskey 4, then the departure, destination, and alternate fields should be entered as a ZZZZ, and further data entry into the other information field will be required, prefaced by departure, destination, or alternate. For example, Kilo 8 Whiskey 4. Also located in these fields are buttons for additional airport information or for an area briefing for an area 25 nautical miles around that location. Or distances of up to 100 nautical miles may also be chosen. Departure date and time. Departure date and time does not differ from the domestic flight plan mask. However, careful notice should be taken so that the proper time and time zones are filled in. The evaluate button is covered in detail in the tutorial video titled Advanced Flight Planning Tools. This button allows for determination of a favorable departure time based on weather forecasted for your route. Cruising speed. Cruising speed is another field that differs from the domestic flight plan mask and can be prone to errors. This field accepts speeds in three formats. Knots, entered as a November and then four digits. Mach, entered as a Mike and then three digits. Or kilometers per hour, entered as kilo and then four digits. Level. Level is the field equivalent to altitude in the domestic flight plan form. Entries in this field may be like the following. Altitude, entered as alpha, followed by three digits. This is for altitudes below 18,000 feet and entered in hundreds of feet, such as alpha 095 for 9,500. Flight level, entered as a foxtrot, followed by three digits. This is for flights above 18,000 feet and entered in hundreds of feet, such as foxtrot 240 for flight level 240, or 24,000 feet. Standard metric level, entered as a Sierra, followed by four digits, and entered in tens of meters, such as Sierra 1230, for 12,300 meters. The optimized button is covered in detail in the tutorial video titled Advanced Flight Planning Tools. This button allows for quick evaluation of winds aloft and its effect on your planned fuel and time en route. Route of flight. Route of flight is another field that differs from the domestic flight plan form. The route of flight in an ICAO flight plan requires entries of DCT, which means direct, between non-like elements in the route of flight. This can best be explained by first understanding air traffic routing. On an ICAO flight plan, it must be defined where a flight will enter or terminate an arrival or departure procedure or an airway. 
For departure procedure, this would be the charted point where that procedure terminates, with the next point being where the flight will enter an airway, and between those points, an entry of DCT would be proper. Then as the flight progresses along the airway to the point where it exits that airway, no DCT would be needed, as the entry point, airway, and exit point are all considered like elements because they share that airway. Finally, at destination, like a departure procedure or airway, a star will often have a waypoint that denotes an entry to that star. Therefore, filing that waypoint, then the accompanying arrival procedure, are like points and may be filed together with no DCT. The route of flight field will accept entries of between 2 and 558 characters. Entries may be a 3 to 5 alphanumeric airport, heliport, nav aid, or waypoint identifier. 8 to 12 alphanumeric latitude longitude entries in degrees and minutes format. Airways using their proper identifiers, such as Victor 2, or Juliet 543, or Upper Juliet 17, and or SIDS and STARS filed with their procedure name and transition point. ICAO round robin flight plans must contain a root element. If one is not entered, the pilot web will automatically enter a fixed radial distance from the departure airport of 001 degrees at 001 nautical miles to satisfy this requirement. Note, Pilot Web does not allow users to file, amend, or activate flight plans intersecting the DC Flight Restricted Zone, or the DC FRZ. These must be called into Lockheed Martin Flight Service. The Plan a Route button is covered in detail in the tutorial video titled Advanced Flight Planning Tools. This button allows for quick planning of routes based on past ATC assigned routes or favorable VFR routes between your departure and destination. Other Information The Other Information field can be considered the catch-all for ICAO flight plan. Any information or data that needs further clarification or supporting details should be entered into this field. As mentioned previously for other fields, the other information field is the location for data such as PBN values, prefaced with PBN slant, also detailed aircraft type, departure, destination, or alternate locations, should be entered here if ZZZZ was used in their respective fields, prefaced by their proper identifier. A search dialog is located to the right of this field, which will display all prefixes for data that may be entered. Like the domestic flight plan, remarks may be entered here, prefaced with RMK slant. The other information field is highly automated, meaning many of the required prefixes will be pre-populated here based on the information already entered into the flight plan. In this case, you will just need to enter the required details. Also, regardless of the order of the subfields or prefixes that are entered, once finished and the cursor is out of the field, it will reorder the elements to be in compliance with ICAO requirements. Note, for international flight plans, those departing the U.S. and destined to non-U.S. locations, it is required that EET, or Estimated Elapsed Time, be entered. This is the time it will take in hours and minutes for the flight to reach the next and subsequent FIR flight information region boundaries, or significant points when referenced from the departure time. This time should be entered as EET slant CZYZ0220, meaning EET to the Toronto Center FIR boundary is 2 hours 20 minutes after departure time. Total estimated elapsed time. The total estimated elapsed time is no different than the time en route on the domestic flight plan and should be entered as 4 digits. Fuel endurance. Fuel endurance is no different than fuel on board for the domestic flight plan and should be entered as 4 digits. Persons on board. Persons on board may be entered as one to three digits or as TBN for to be notified if the number of persons on board is not known. Aircraft color and markings. Aircraft color and markings is similar to the color of aircraft field. This field requires colors to be separated by a slant. Emergency radios. Emergency radios is not a required field, however, may be used to note any emergency radios or transmitters that are on board. Survival equipment. Survival equipment is also not a required field, however, may be used to note any categories of survival equipment on board the aircraft. Jackets. Like the last two, is also not required. This entry will give details as to the type of life jackets carried on board. Dinghies. Dinghies is also an optional field where the amount, capacity of each, their color, and whether or not they are covered is noted. Note, even though the four previous entries of survival equipment are noted as optional, it is highly recommended that they be included in each flight plan if on board the aircraft. Supplemental Remarks Supplemental Remarks is a location for all other remarks up to 80 characters regarding emergency equipment. Pilot in Command 
Piloting command may be entered here. However, this information is stored in the pilot contact information populated from your pilot web profile and retained in the flight plan's history. ICAO flight plans like domestic flight plans take practice. However, once familiarized, prove to be a more detailed and in some cases required for operation. The pilot web ICAO flight plan form ensures ICAO flight plan entry is accurate and complete, ensuring acceptance throughout the ATC system. An accurate flight plan gives ATC the most ideal picture of routes, altitudes, and procedures you and your aircraft are equipped for. Should your flight plan have errors when attempting to file or get a pre-flight briefing, they will be noted by a pop-up window outlining each error, as well as an error text displayed below each box needing attention. As a reminder, favorite flight plans may be saved in the ICAO flight plan form for use at a future date. Also, ICAO formatted equipment codes and airspeeds may be saved to an aircraft which allows them to be auto-populated for future use. Should you need further assistance with ICAO flight plan filing, please visit our user guide by hovering over Help in the menu bar and selecting User Guide. If more detailed assistance is needed, please reach out to our technical support staff through the Contact Us link at the bottom of the page so your request may be handled at the appropriate level of assistance. Thank you for using the Lockheed Martin Pilot Web.